Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we are going to make frozen peach pops and this is what they look like. These are delicious. They are so nice, icy texture and a sweet peach flavor. Essentially, we're just taking pureed peaches, mixing it with the sugar syrup and then freezing it. It's like a peach uh, sorbet on a stick. So first thing we're going to do is our sugar syrup. So you will need a small saucepan and then I'm just putting a half a cup, 100 grams of granulated white sugar and then we're just going to put in half a cup, 120 milliliters, 120 grams of just water. I'm going to put this over medium high heat and bring it up to a boil. Just give it a stir every once in a while. Okay, so it's coming up to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is just turn the heat down, but let it still boil for about a minute because I wanna make sure all that sugar is dissolved. So just turn that down a bit. Okay, so it's been boiling about a minute. That sugar has really dissolved. So take it off the heat. Now, I mean, I could make my sorbet right away, but then this is really hot. So what I'm gonna do is let this cool down. Preferably, you want to chill this before you make your uh, sorbet because that way they will freeze faster. So what, that's what I'm gonna do. And the good thing is you can actually make this uh, sugar syrup up to two weeks in advance and then just put it into a covered container, have it in your fridge so whenever you wanna make it, you have the sugar syrup on hand. One thing I forgot to mention is you can infuse your sugar syrup with a flavor. Like once it comes off the heat and it's still really like boiling hot, you could add a bit of lemon zest, orange zest, or even like some mint leaves and let the, uh, like the zest sit in the syrup as it cools down, then remove it and then chill it. And then you have a nice flavored sugar syrup. So now, you will need about one pound, which is 450 grams of peaches. I find if you're using this size, that's about five peaches. And I'm using the nice smooth skin ones. So I am not removing the skin because I actually like the look of, of the skin in the peach pops. Uh, if you like, the only type you get is ones with a real fuzz on it. You might want to remove the uh, skin of your peaches. And how you do that is get some boiling water, put your peach in there, maybe 60 seconds until the skin starts to loosen and then take them out and plunge them into ice cold water for you know a minute or two. And then you can just easily peel away the skin. But like I said, for these ones, nice smooth skin, I'm just gonna Leave it on there. And then you want to cut as much of the peach as you can from the pit. And then, like I said, just cut them into, you know, large chunks. I am using my food processor for this. Makes it really easy. If you have a blender, you can use that. So let's put your peaches right in there. And then I'm just going to process them just to start to puree them a bit. Pretty good. And then I'm going to add my, my uh, sugar syrup is cold, so I'm going to put that in there. And this is my secret ingredient. I'm adding some Prosecchio. You could use um, any sparkling wine or, okay, and, and I'm going to add a quarter of a cup, 60 milliliters. Now, the reason I'm adding this there's actually quite a few reasons. One, of course, for flavor. Two, alcohol will prevent your uh, peach pops from freezing like too hard. And three, the bubbles, will lighten up the texture of our um, peach sorbet. Now, if you don't want to use that, you're making them for kids, you obviously don't want to put the alcohol. You could use uh, like a sparkling water or even a fruit juice, just a quarter of a cup of, of like apple juice, or if you want to add a flavor like orange juice or something like that. So now what I'm going to do is just pulse it, just mix this all together, and we're done. <laughs> Talk about an easy thing to make. 
So now, so this amount makes, if you're using, I'm using these uh, type of um, pop holders, makes about eight. You could also use like this type. Or really, if you don't have either one of those, you could just use like get little paper cups for the kids and then just buy some of these popsicle sticks. Easy enough. So I'll tell you the hardest part I find of this recipe is trying to get the mix my sorbet in the holders without making a real mess. <laughs> that's that's so I've come up with I have these little flexible or you what you want is something with a spout. That's what I found. And then what you do is we'll just fill them up. Now you leave a little room at the top because it will expand as it freezes. Okay, and there's my last one. You know, you could actually just chill this down and add it to a glass with some uh, ice and sparkling water. Very refreshing drink. And actually, this is a sorbet. So if you didn't want to make the uh, frozen peach pops, you could just freeze this like a sorbet. And you're like chill it down and then churn it in your ice cream machine. So now what I do with this type is I have that and put the top on and then I have my little popsicle sticks. Now if you were just using a glass, then obviously you can't put your sticks in right away because they will flop around. So what you want to do is just put all your, uh, say you're using paper cups, just put them all on your tray, freeze it partially until they're, it's like frozen enough that then you can stick your uh, popsicle sticks down in there and then they'll stand up. So that's how you do that. Just do this and then I'm just going to pop this into the freezer. You know, I find, I mean, it depends. Did you use ice cold sugar syrup or your peaches cold or warm, whatever. Uh, but I'm, I would say at least six hours, six to eight hours to freeze them up. And then, when we come back, we are going to try one. So once your peach pops are frozen, the big question is, how do we get them out of the container? There's different ways of doing it. One, if you just wanted to do just one, sometimes I just get my hair dryer and put it on there. Um, another way is you could get a big uh, container of hot water and just put, submerge the bottom, Don't not up here, but this part in cold, in, sorry, hot water, or sometimes I just run them under hot water as well until they loosen up. So then, this is what we have, our frozen peach pop. If you can see, I don't know whether you can see, you can um, see in the uh, peach pop the skin, and that's why I like, gives, a, you know, some texture, it makes these really look pretty cool. and the flavor. That peach flavor really comes through and I love the iciness of it. And they're so refreshing. So try these and until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com.